Take 35 goddamn cocksucking motherfucking thunder cunt son of a bitch. Try to make a fucking video and somebody's fucking got a... Hey, Matt! <laughs> fucking annoying. Yeah, so Husqvarna 345. You didn't see a video on that anytime recent or past couple videos. So what does that mean? You got another fucking junk ass chainsaw from work. Oh, nope, not just one. I got fucking two. Start with the 440. This here was a brand new chainsaw. Like all of them was brand new. Past hunts. Uh, this is a 2018 year model. Customer didn't even run three quarters of a tank through it. Um, he ended up running straight gas. Somehow they fucking warrantied it out. Uh, oh, I didn't know it was supposed to have gas oil mix in it. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, good to know for next time. Uh... I don't agree with that, but whatever. I think uh, we had to wait 90 days before this gets thrown away. After it's warrantied out. Uh, when I got it, it was completely torn apart. In a cardboard box. You know, it was going in the fucking junk. Uh, so I took it. Um, brought it home. Threw it together. And it's not going to get ran the way it is, even though it will run the way it is does have compression but had straight gas ran through it it overheated um, piston and cylinder are fucked so later on I'm gonna get a piston and cylinder kit for it along with gaskets and seals um, might as well just go ahead and do a uh, crank seals while I'm at it bearings should be fine like I said it's only had not even three quarters of a tank ran through it. Um, I just wanted to put it together, make sure all the parts were here, and I didn't want to lo lose parts moving it around because it'll end up staying in fucking boxes just like that and screws and shit rolling out of the bottom. Uh, I am missing two screws. I'm missing a screw for the ignition coil. I'm missing one screw over here for the handle I do have the carburetor and the primer bulb and the choke assembly and all this shit still gotta put that stuff together I might not even put it together I might just throw those parts in a ziplock bag zip tie them to the handle and, and throw this on the shelf until I get a new uh, cylinder and piston kit for it and the other parts the 345 I don't know much about it this has been out in the junk pile for a while. That rhymed. No, I'm not in a gang. No, I don't represent. No, I'm not east side, west coast, VIP, representing fucking area codes or anything like that. Uh, I wear blue jeans. I don't have my pants sagging down my ass. Um, I got a curve in my hat. You know, just because I said something that fucking rhymed, that doesn't mean I claim that lifestyle. I don't go by G or D. You know, I don't, you know, my, my friends, they're not, I don't refer to them as like fucking letters from the fucking alphabet. I, I'm just, you know, just because I fucking rhymed, that doesn't mean I claim that lifestyle. So, uh, just wanted to make that fucking clear. Uh. So anyway, what I was told, the customer had brought it in, and it was put together with this piston and cylinder. This piston and cylinder are cheap Chinese eBay shit. He said that he replaced the piston and cylinder and couldn't get it to run right. Well, these kits off eBay, they do not come with cylinder gaskets or seals. So what did he do? He tried to use RTV. He said it ran, but it ran like shit. Well, it's a vacuum leak. So, somebody at my work, they tore it apart. Told him what it needed. He already knew. Um, we do not assemble shit that's not... This is not an OEM part, so we're not going to... It's not going to get assembled with this by us. Um, this here is the original cylinder and it's scored 
can't really see it, lighting sucks. But he got a price quote on parts and labor and saw is just not worth it. So he didn't want to pay the uh, quarter hour labor for tearing it apart and see exactly what it needed. He didn't want to pay it, so he forfeited the saw. Uh, saw has been sitting for a couple couple years, so it's going on in the junk pile. So I got it. I think I'm gonna do because it's an older saw. It ain't worth a shit ton anyway. I'm just gonna order a seal and gasket kit for this thing. Well, basically just the uh, cylinder seals, the crank seals. I might just go ahead and get new crank bearings and seals, but they're fine. So just to save money, I think all I'll do, going back and forth here, just buy the cylinder seals, put this all together, run this piston and cylinder. I mean, piston's not scored. Clean out the carburetor, put it all together, run it as is and see how it works. Um, I am missing an air cleaner assembly, so I'll have to buy one of those eBay or order it from my work. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll be a good saw. Um, I've seen some to where they overheat and where the block actually sits or the cylinder sits, it'll actually melt the plastic and then where the bearing sits, it'll actually melt that. This one looks pretty good, so you know I didn't pay anything for these two saws, so I think I'll give this a Chinese cylinder, cheap Chinese piston and cylinder kit shot. Um, how by the time it's done and put together, and I buy the seals, I'll probably you know I'll probably be into this project here about maybe five ten bucks. Um, I think it's well. And I think it'll be a good experiment just to see if these cheap Chinese shit things fucking work. So, that's it on this project. I'll make another video on the other possible projects.